What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video I want to go through four devastating mistakes that you need to avoid if you're running a new AdWords campaign. This is um, going to be a short but sweet video and I kind of want to touch on each one of these topics, so there's four of them, and I'm going to walk you through each one and, and why and how to avoid it, why it's a problem and how to avoid it. So if you go into a campaign, let's go into one of our demo campaigns here. Mistake number one to avoid the wrong location setting. This is probably the most common mistake that we see from other agencies that we get clients from other agencies that come over back to us. Um, are this is the biggest problem. Number one, hands down. So if you go into your settings inside your campaign, go over here to locations, scroll down to right here, location options. Okay, if you keep that open. There's some toggle options here. People in or who show interest in your targeted locations is the recommended. This is not the one you want to use, okay? This can potentially show your ads to people outside of your actual location you're targeting. This is this was a huge problem back in the day and luckily this is, you know, we have more options now. All right? So the, the the real trick here is it says people in or who show interest in, okay? So that technically they could not even be in the location you're targeting, but they're showing interest in it. They could, so that means if you're running this, let's say you're targeting Philadelphia, you have someone in New Jersey searching like right across the river, they could see your ads, even though they don't want anything to do with Philadelphia. All right. Cause th so they're showing interest in Philadelphia, but they're not in Philadelphia. So that's, that could be a problem and it could be wasted money because these people are not going to convert. So this is the correct one you want to set. It's people in or regularly in your targeted locations, All right? This is the winner. So that's mistake number one. Make sure the setting is correct or you're going to have some problems. All right, number two. So let's cancel out of here. We'll come back up here into your campaign settings. Come up here to networks. So when you build a new campaign, this is automatically checked on. Google's display network and the search network. So the search network's okay. Um, some clients we don't run it. Some clients we do. I'd say... 90% of the clients we have, we run the search network, unless we find a problem with the traffic through analysis. But display network, you do not want this checked on, okay? You will burn through your money and get so many clicks that just don't convert, and it'll be a total waste of your time, all right? So make sure that you, you come in here, you uncheck this, and you hit save, all right? You do not want your search ads to show on the display network. You just want to avoid it all completely altogether because this is a whole different animal of Google ads and you just definitely don't want to mix these two. All right, on to mistake number three to avoid. This is another one that we see probably, I'd say probably the second most common one we see when uh, people come to us from other places is no negative keywords, right? So you go into your campaign, come under keywords, a little drop down here, negative keywords. And here's where you can add all of your keywords you just hit the plus sign and you can start adding your key negative keywords. All right, it's so important if you're running a Google Ads campaign that you have negative keywords. Now, if you don't know what negative keywords are or how to add them or how to use them or how to create keyword lists or anything like that, just go to the ClicksGeek channel and under our playlist section, I believe we have a playlist called negative keywords and there literally you can learn anything you want about negative keywords. I think there's like a dozen videos in there where I walk you through each each uh, different aspect of negative keywords and why you need them and all that stuff. So super important guys, make sure you're always adding negative keywords to your campaigns. Probably one of the most crucial things you can do. And the second most crucial thing, which happens to be number four, is your keyword match types, all right? So number four is broad match keywords. So if we go into our campaign, go over to keywords, actually we'll go into ad groups. Now, if you don't know, Let's go into an ad group. So we'll go into aluminum fence company, aluminum fence ad group. So if you don't know what the match types are or how they work, again, go to our ClicksGeek channel and there should be a playlist called keyword match types. And there's a dozen videos in there of what they are, how they work, how to use them, what they mean, everything explained. Okay. But for the purpose of this video, mistake number four is actually more specific. It's about broad match keywords. Okay, so what's a broad match keyword? A broad match keyword essentially, so first I guess we should probably run through all of them just in case for all the people here who don't know what, what the match types are. There's three different match types, well four I should say. You have phrase match, which is the quotes around the keyword. 
And all that really means is you're telling Google, I, I want to dial down my search of this keyword. So when I'm running phrase match for aluminum fence installation, you're saying I want as close to this search term. I want my ad to show for as close to this aluminum fence installation search term as possible. Within reason, you can add a few things on the end. So, so Google could show your ad for aluminum fence installation company aluminum fence installation services they'll add they'll add something onto the end of it or the beginning of it so it, it's a pretty good match type the next up is exact match which i don't know if i have any exact match in this ad group particularly but i'll show you what that looks like so exact match is just these it's brackets around the keyword and you're telling google i only want my ad to show when someone searches exactly this keyword into, into the google search bar price to install aluminum fence so they've changed, Google's changed their rules a little bit about exact match. They're a little more lax about it now. So you can get a few additional searches. Like, so you might get price to install aluminum fence near me or something like that. You're at, it still might show for, which is okay. They're, they're pretty good with it. So exact match is probably one of the best match types that you should be using for your campaigns. Next up is modified broad match, or it's what I call it, modified broad match, but it's, uh, it's called uh, broad match modified or whatever everywhere else i don't know i have my own thing for it and it's basically just pluses in front of the keyword and so each word of the keyword so if the keyword is aluminum fence we put a plus in front of aluminum a plus in front of fence and a plus in front of cost all right so what we're telling google is i want my ad to show for any search term as long as these three keywords in any order are in the search term aluminum fence cost so it can be a little more risky you're definitely casting a wider more broad net out but it's still more dialed in than just regular broad match. All right, so regular broad match is just this. It's just the keyword with no match type. All right. So it looks like this. So this is broad match, and this is mistake number four. Please, for the love of God, stay away from broad match keywords. Unless you're a very experienced pay-per-click marketer, um, you're gonna you're gonna get killed. They're gonna crush you. Especially if you don't have negative keyword lists. I mean, if you're going to be running broad match keywords, you got to have a huge negative keyword list. Because what basically what broad match means is you're telling Google, all right, um, I want to run my ads for anyone who searches aluminum fence cost. But you're letting Google interpret what that means. And they're going to unload all the crap searches all over you that have to do with aluminums, aluminum or fencing or pricing for any of that stuff. But it doesn't even necessarily have to be aluminum fence that you're, they're gonna show your ads for. It could be like aluminum fencing factory, aluminum fencing manufacturer plant. Like it, they're gonna show it for a ton of irrelevant stuff that you don't want. So that's mistake number four. Stay away from broad match keywords. My advice, my personal advice to you guys, if you're if you're new to AdWords or, or even a little bit more advanced, if you're getting into it, try and run only exact match and phrase match to start. Every campaign you start should start with exact and phrase match because at least you'll get some solid data and if you don't, if you don't know about key, how to find the right keywords or select the right keywords, again, go to the Clicks Geek channel. I have a playlist for um, keywords, and I show you how to find high intent keywords, which basically means how to find keywords that are going to be more likely to turn into a lead, phone, a lead, a contact form, a phone call, or a sale, or anything like that, versus broad type keywords, not match, broad type keywords, which are just more generic topical type keywords. And you want to stay away from those as much as possible because we don't really know the user's intent behind a broad type keyword. So we want to only try and go after the high intent stuff. So hopefully this lesson uh, was helpful to you guys. So again, let's just recap four mistakes to avoid with Google ads. Number one, wrong location settings. Number two, having the uh, display network turned on in your search campaigns. Number three, having no negative keywords. And number four, running broad match keywords. All right, hopefully, like I said, hopefully, guys, this video was helpful. If you have any questions, anything like that, just drop them in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop a lot of how-to content um, pretty much every day now. And uh, besides that, I think I'll catch you guys in the next video.